It was five. Alright. Oh, what the hell is happening? I'm streaming Chan, giving you live feed of my life and adventures 24-7. I went dangerously married me streaming Chan. I miss short hair streaming Chan. Why is everybody so noisy? Jesus. Uh, bathroom time at 90 moments only available to premium users. It's only 99 a month. Go premium now. What is wrong with you? Uh, it's Friday night, and y'all know what that means. It's time for streaming Chan's escapades. Today's escapade is, uh, Jesus Christ. This is about, uh, a shining finger dot moe. We use the VR. Oh, that's what I'm. <laughs> that's what Jill's assigned to. We use the VR adult entertainment since uh, 2069. By year of premium membership, you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of the VR experience modeled after yours truly. Excuse <laughs> Today I picked up the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I can find downtown. Jesus Christ. Inside, lady, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going for a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. Well, it did smell like dog urine. <laughs> Excuse me, but no matter tonight, I'll give you an escape you'll never forget. Hey, you, what's, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny, where is he, really? Right in front of you. Hey, you, the pretty boy over there, what's, where's the bartender? Are you looking at him? No way. Uh, no hot shirtless guys playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy scanning clad girl jigging around the place? You're telling me you two, just like fucking waiters, are the bartenders here? God. Yep. Uh, seems that way. Jesus Christ. What's happening? Was that just say moon? What is that? God. I don't understand why, uh... How do I denko? Did I miss bath time? Jesus Christ. Uh, is that a problem? Of course there's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. Uh, I need something sexier and enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yes, just take your top off. Oh my, Jesus Christ. Uh, you might need to take your bra off, depending on how traffic goes. What, you <laughs> Do you even use a bra? Why is this? Jesus Christ, this girl's an asshole. At a piercing glare, no. Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off the top, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Uh, uh, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I even find a nasty bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we'll deal with that case on case basis. It's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes or no answers. My viewers have the intention span of fruit flies. Uh, Jesus, I'm trying to read it all. It's just like, love us, whatever. Too much. This is weird. Uh, if they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained. The fact is, you still have your shirt on and it isn't helping. Wait, I know. Give me a drink, a big one, the nastiest one you can think of. Uh, service here, please. Let's my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty. Manly and Proma drinks are both nasty. That's my opinion. Alright. Let's find a... Uh... A Promo Manly. Uh... Well, no, it can be, because it's both like, yeah. Well... That doesn't sound right. Uh, I guess I'll just do this. I don't know. Uh, blended. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. This is so weird. Hey, kids, want to die? Hello, fellow youngsters. Here. All right then. Cheers. I don't think you should chug it down so quickly. It's like it hit me, but it didn't feel until a few seconds later. Is that what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Yeah, kind of true. Uh, okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? Um, what do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. Uh, you're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Let's see, then. Uh... Uh, last weekend we had a party for the Surfar Toy Company, and it's a company run completely by dogs. Really? It was the place was completely overrun by corgis. Yeah, you really serve drinks to corgis, to pseudo-clad talking corgis. Yeah. Wow, awesome. What? Is that just a thing? It's, I guess there was a cat robot girl in here, so I guess it probably isn't that weird. Uh, 
Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else, what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, Don, uh, Steve Harvey from Augmented Eye was here three nights in a row. Uh, that perfumed chauvistic bastard. Uh, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was a small meek girl with classes. Oh, it was the girl, uh, Kim. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I don't wonder why. But enough about that. Uh, enough about that. Wait, can I see the glass over there? Oh, is it the Mickey concert one? Seniors, Kira Mickey, right? Uh, yeah, she came by before her last concert. Get out, really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really, we're just in the right p pace at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I tried to get a meeting with her and she uh, actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does and it shows. You think she'd come to be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it. I knew she was nice. Jesus Christ. Uh, same too much clothes. Her passion shows in her concerts. You know, she's so spontaneous. Her performers are, are never the same. Uh, every time she sings Shine and Spark, I feel like my soul's warming up the high pitch computer, high performance computer. Jesus Christ. What does that mean? Bunch of eights. I don't know what that means. I find myself singing in the shower all the time. And those of you very premium can hear me singing every day at 99 a month. Go premium now. That aside, I was about to call bullshit in what you said, uh, but I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep the glass? No. Why would you want to? No. Why do you want to keep it? At least the bar might be more interesting than if I initially thought. Uh, the one thing that made it performance is pretty boy that over here had passed with the KGB. Who told? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Is Gilligan part with the KGB? Um. Uh, are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh yeah, yeah, the whole thing getting wasted. I didn't call it a bad touch. Give me a big one of those. Uh... Jesus Christ. Go away! A big one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah. I almost blended it by accident. I had to scratch my nose. Here, I suppose something dirtier. Uh, we have olive brine. I can pour it in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. Such a dirty name. Is a bad touch actually like a dirty name? I've never heard it. I guess it is. It feels like the drink ought to come in a filet glass. There'd be like this thick white liquid. <laughs> That'll skyrocket if the watch is at least th tenfold. Uh, don't you have anything else like the? Nope. Uh, go. Uh, how can I see it too? Oh, uh, uh, the camera is up there. Anime was a mistake. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I have to uh make do with the condensed uh condensed milk when I get home. That sounds gross. Uh, for any reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by Shinefinger.mole. Yep. Uh, but your premium membership for a neat code. Said code will. Net you a free trial of your experience model oh, based on moi. Moi? Uh, oh, moa. Okay, got it. I never actually heard that spell, the scene that spelled out. What's the deal with the VR experience? Well, a fan made uh, an ND model of me. Uh, when Shiny Figured asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership with all one. Uh, I, even get him a, uh, I even got him a year of free membership premium in a VR headset. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. I asked for a reason. It's well, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, and that sounds like a good enough explanation. I, that's simple enough. To be honest though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it though, considering the use it gets. Um, you know, I was expecting uh, you'd be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. <laughs> it's hard to be scared when you can't see those people. Yeah, that's how I am. I can't talk to people, but I, I like doing this. Uh, they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind the screens or something in the opposite corner of the world, but every single one of them viewers is a real person with the real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here because they be paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So tell me, what made you, made you like lady like you become a bartender? It's not ex exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. Uh, what about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? What? 
You're not gonna tell me you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's exact. Actually, what happened? Sort of. Uh, oh come on, no epiphany, quarter life crisis, not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line. Uh, life isn't always a young adult novel when every decision is a road cone, and that's a uh, and that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. <laughs> Throw me a bone here. There must be a, a nice mystical story you can tell me about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well, yes. Uh, sometime after I started working here, I got an interesting client. He was a uh, DRK SOL, really old Willem model. Apparently, his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. What? The robots have to charge? Is that? What does that mean? How did that work? He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. Uh, he was from the time when the collective sources wasn't a cloud storage system, so he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only one I've ever seen clear out of fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear out once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish, uh, it's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. That's depressing. I guess he felt bad about burying someone else with his problems, so he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um, bravo, bravo. That's fucking depressing. D touching, full feeling, completely awesome. Hopefully he... I bet I see a movie like that. So what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me all the times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Uh, now that I think about it, how do you handle the if you want to watch a movie or something? Uh, I have a plug-in that weighs... Mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. That's neat. I see. Okay, this is uh, getting still. I'm going to heat this up if I don't have to, have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here, Miss Bartender. Get me drunk. I, I don't care how. Just do it. Uh, okay. Let's get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting crust. I don't know. What would that be? Bubbly? Maybe? Is that what bubbly means? I'll give her a big beer. Because, I mean, I don't really know what... Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Here, have a beer. So? Nope, a bit hot. But not light-headed. Then again, I'm always hot. <laughs> Hot-headed. Uh, your drinks are either too light, or I'm more resilient to alcohol than I thought. Okay, let's try this from a different angle. You ask the questions. What kind of questions? I don't know, I'm not the bartender. Do your bartender-ish thing. <laughs> what made you decide to stream at yourself 24-7? See, that's what I'm talking about. You're the bartender here, bartender. Anyway, have you ever uh, done something so reckless or stupid because of peer pressure? I think that's something everyone has gone through. Well, it used to be that I very rarely succumbed to such problems. I was the type to never take risks for and try new things. Every time I did, I was scolded rather than praised. What point is there in doing this stuff if nobody acknowledges you did well? But some time ago, I stumbled upon a friend who would stream herself talking. Nothing risque or noteworthy. She invited me on, and well, the comments were intoxicating. The internet is a big place. Somehow, I found within those comments people that acknowledged me. They encouraged me, even. After, the stream, after that stream, I tried doing some myself. I turned on the camera, put on something cutesy, and started dancing to Kira and Mickey. At first, I pretended the camera wasn't there, but as soon as I saw the comments, something snapped within me. Lewd comments, praises, the usual random stuff. <laughs> After seeing so many people interested in me, I started moving a lot more. No more shyness for me. After that, I started doing more. I sang, cooked, drew things. I even did a strip tease at some point. Jesus Christ. Whenever I was streaming, I stopped being shy. So at some point, I said, Hey, this is the life I want to live all... This is how I, way I want to live my life. All my life. Fuck yeah. Uh, and that streaming chain was born. Is it difficult to keep that up? Not really. It's not like I'm acting or anything. I'm just being myself. I do need to mind the camera angles and that kind of stuff sometimes, but it's nothing major. And when I do need to mind that, for <laughs> you can find a go premium. Hey, you're good at bartending stuff. What kind of other things you made me say? Well, like seriously, what's your secret? How do you get people to talk? I just realized she has two different colored eyes. Hmm. Uh, I never do that. I never do that much, actually. Uh, well, this is a bar after all. Uh, and one of the reasons people come to a bar is because sometimes they want to get things off their chest. So it's not a conscious trick you, you could teach in a 10 minute tutorial. No. Uh, you seem to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, some professions um, make you... I can't read. Some professions make you that personal stranger others feel... 
But some professions make you that personal stranger others feel comfortable telling their secrets to. I don't know why kind of... That was weird. <laughs> this sound, didn't sound right. Of course, discussion helps too. Uh, hey, now that you mention it, I do blab a lot to my hairdresser. Pretty interesting stuff. Well, no wild night tonight, but it did get interesting though. Anyway, I should go, but before I leave, what's your name, Miss Bartender? Lana Smithy. Alright, why? Oh, yeah, because I'm eating stream, do you don't want to give me your name? Alright, that makes sense. Alright, Miss Smithy, uh, thank you for a lovely night. But you stay here because the night is still young and there's a lot to do. Whoa, the floor is moving. <laughs> Quite the wavy girl, eh? People like her physically hurt me <laughs> with their presence. <laughs> you think she'll come back? My mom always said, you never know when the angels are saying amen. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, shut your mouth or I'll jinx it. Or you'll jinx it. Why didn't you give her her name? What do you want to reveal and name someone like her? Good point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've need, I need cigarettes badly. Alright. That was a weird one. Uh. Alright. I'm now looking at these characters. I don't know what... This is... The, that's Donna. Dorothy. I guess it'll still be Joe. Is that... Who's this? The only hair that looked like that was that cat girl, but she didn't, she doesn't have the eye thing, so I don't know who that will be. I don't know. Alright. I always forget how to get out of here. It's now safe to keep playing. I don't know, just this image just feels like a threat. <laughs> it's now safe to keep playing, it just seems threatening. Uh, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Not a good sensation. Uh, I'll change up some stuff. I will resist putting the remix in. Uh, there we go. All done. Feeling better? Uh, fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for give value of fresh anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like a heavy duty tool. No, people are still arguing about what that noise was. You were a heavy duty tool, yes I am. Wait, that damn it. Oh welcome back. Hi. Uh I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey Bunger, what did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says dynamite or something like that. Not you two. Uh do you think it's dynamite then? No. No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. <laughs> Firecrackers. Uh, right. I just imagine Donna like in the back room, just screaming. Uh, see, those sounds have been going all night, and we can't figure out what they are. We're not here to discuss that. We're here to. Uh, who is he? Gilligan. Nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Uh, poor Gilligan. <laughs> I feel bad for him. He gets called John and fuckboy all the time. Where was he last week? Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. Uh, he, he already made amends for me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Uh, what the hell, I have a beer too. Uh, two beers. Alright. Oh, uh, I guess to get the streamer chan drunk, I imagine I could probably just like, just overload it in the character, I mean, I assume. Hopefully we won't just fucking kill her. <laughs> um, is that right? Yep. Let's do the same here. Mix. All right, here you go. Thank you. Uh, man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill. That's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Well, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Oh, damn it! I didn't read it. Um. So it's just the same. Nothing changed. Uh, I guess when we come here. With all the dogs, it's quite a change of pace, huh? I guess so you, you were here with the corgis, I take it. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, so what brings you here today? I said just come here after work. It's Friday, a drink to kick, kick off the weekend is one of those little things that makes life worthwhile. But he did only suggest it after I found him hugging a stuffed corgi in his office. A stuffed corgi, a plushie, not an overfed dog. I see. Uh, wait, you have an office? Yeah, what's weird about that? I thought you had a cubicle or a kennel. Who are you people? Oh, do you work with the dogs? Kennel? 
I mean, you don't hear much about office boys getting in their own offices. Uh, got an achievement. Honor appreciated drink. There's a drink nobody asked for. I don't, I don't know what that was about. Weird. Uh, it's not hard considering the rest of, uh, the rest of the staff don't use chairs or tables, even I have my own office. I don't know about that. The mess they left in the bathroom usually requires someone with thumbs. Uh, chairs and tables seem like lesser evils. And you're the veterinarian, uh, a vet veterin veterinarian after all. Veterinarian, not, when, when I look at it spelled out, it looks weird. I don't know, it just doesn't look right. A kennel? What, what about a kennel? I don't know, I just thought it'd be cute if one day I went to work and they had one waiting for me. Like they saw me as one of them. Okay, so these people do work for the corkies. That's not right. So, where'd you get that plushie? Oh, I gave it to him. It was my gift last Mega Christmas. Wait, so he got defensive over being caught hugging a gift you gave him? That's the funniest part. He acted like I didn't know he had it. Uh, I was just glad he was enjoying it, you know? <laughs> Why are you two talking like I'm not here? Uh, because you're not giving any input anyway. So, how's stuff up at Doglandia? <laughs> well, recently he struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Oh, that's cute. The name Rainza Farmer Fabrics. The name brings a bell. Uh, it's the textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh, right. Oh yeah, that one. She mentioned it earlier. Uh, we had her some time ago. She got drunk and so much saliva everywhere. Yeah, she was saying that she got drunk and said she was an alpaca. Oh. Uh, but anyway, dog clothes. We had a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, decided to give the clothing production a try. These designs were embarrassing, you know? <laughs> Something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I have whatever this guy orders. Let's see, Brantini. Two Brantinis. So, dogs are sentient. And talk. Strange. This world is interesting. Uh, I always focus on doing this because I feel like I'm going to mix up. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, such a wimpy taste in drinks. And all of us spent their weekend in college partying like maniacs. Actually, now all of us went to college. Miss nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back there and kick myself. <laughs> uh, something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, that right now she fits in the unkept cutie category so well that it's almost painful. So cliche that I can't help but cringe while looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's like such cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick. But yeah, I didn't think I'd have time to say this twice in the same month, but you should, shouldn't kick people. <laughs> I wasn't going to kick her. Why do you think I'd kick her? Because you said you kicked people before. I've seen you kick people before. Pretty unprovoked or due to complicated reasons, only you understand. Fine, guilty. Why don't you just go around kicking people? Just drop kicking? Still, I'm going to do something about her. I feel like I just need to. Uh, it's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. <laughs> well, maybe honor isn't the right word. She has the potential, and I'm going to let her waste it. Oh, hey, Donna. Uh, Joe, I'm going to go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. Why? <laughs> uh, she's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs are the ones organizing meeting with her. I say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? What her pants look like? I can't see below people's, like, chest. They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she seems like the type. Uh, some short short skirt, skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. Uh, there was also that one time she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome. <laughs> Damn, she has a nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have the hobby of speculating what somebody's personality is based on just their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made, this sound, made that sound weird as hell. Uh, yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made it sound like I'm some sort of creep. I did? <laughs> kind of. What do you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you are too polite. Uh, not a natural polite, though, more like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. That's kind of mean. <laughs> also, the way you look at uh, looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Uh, like you'd like to see that scenario. Yeah, Jill has a. I still I think Jill has a crush on Donna. She keeps pictures of her. So uh, you're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil then? Hmm. Is this gonna call him a fuckboy? Hmm. 
He's either a total symptom or acts like he's uh, in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My, my judgment would be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. I'll have... I'll have something strong. You need to pump those sausage into your taste and drinks. Uh, you'll thank me later, trust me. Then, two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well, you shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, manly. Uh, suplex. Uh, three, four. Uh, the, the, the. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right. Yeah. Here. Now drink. Uh, oh man, I'll get used to it. <laughs> um, hey, Joe, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? Uh, you know, made you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank? Jill, <laughs> first year of high school, the guy I had in my eyes for a whole year asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to a meeting place. What I find it was a prank. It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I. The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me. Attractive enough to find, ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. <laughs> they can uh, confirm my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, why the question? <laughs> hey, a piece of scrap. Yeah, uh, these are the situations where you shouldn't stop me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um, I was asking because one of my ex. X's cousins had been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it weren't somebody else, I'd pretend to be sh straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, uh, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. I was just telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she was generally offended, uh, they might not be in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. Are you going to kick him? What was yours? Waterboarding? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the fact that she knows how to waterboard some- What do you mean you know how to waterboard? It's simple. Uh, the Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I seen nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Like, you don't have to uh, learn how to waterboard, it's kind of a simple concept. Ow, I hit my knee on my desk. <laughs> Ow. Oh, some skin peeled off, damn it. Especially when you factor that if Gina was, uh, being honest with her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one was that again? A uh, blonde, flat as a kiting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's a tough one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Gil. Some guys said I should tell you that the bunny's late, whatever that means. Oh shit. <laughs> Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me good as dead. Uh, yeah. So is he just part of the mob or the KGB? Uh, yeah, shouldn't we be worried? Uh, think of him as a kid that tells the hours just so to get attention and everything will be easier. <laughs> Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Uh, yeah. He'll be here on, he'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. <laughs> Hello, Jill. Hey, Stella. Yeah, you're the one that looks like in the save screen, but you don't, the, but the drawing didn't have the cat ears or the eye thing, so I don't know who else it would be. But you have like the curly kind of hair. Uh, I, have a, I, w I was outside for like five minutes a few days ago and I got two mosquito bites. I've been scratching them this entire time. <laughs> it's bothering me. Oh, Stella, are you here for another drink today? Not really. I'm just around the neighborhood and. Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. Uh, and not someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really, I don't know what to say, thanks. Well, it's nothing really. This, oh, it's newscaster, just this, uh, blah, blah. uh, the Apollo Trust Bank has locked its stores, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning at the bank. Yeah, I'll go out and say. Uh, I wonder if she'll be alright. Uh, hello, Jamie. Oh, hey, Kano. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? Newsflash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Uh, Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. 
I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows <laughs> what. So th this dude's an assassin. <laughs> How's he know that? How's he know the same information? <laughs> what can I get you? Give me a Mars blast. Coming right up. It's getting fishy. I don't trust Gil. He's gonna be part of like the mob. Uh, three, four. Blunted. Oh god. Come on. Uh, Mars Blast. Uh, one Mars Blast. Yeah, this is one. Mars Blast should have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is just still a nickname. I mean, it is red. So, how have you been... How have, what is Mars not red anymore in this universe? <laughs> so, uh, how have you been doing? I was working a contract, actually, but the target's inside the Apollo trust me. Forget I'd simply leave him be for now. And then he came for a drink. Yeah. Part of me wants to ask who your target is, I'm guessing it's secret. I can tell you that it appears to be a part of a power struggle somewhere. Has a target ever made you a counteroffer to go after the one that sent you? You usually don't live long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also don't like it when a target you see in my face manages to survive. What happened? Uh, nothing, I just only thought, what if someone sent you after me? I'd reject the contract. Thanks, Kano. You would? I don't ask the name of many people you know, and I always remember those whose names I've asked. They're real in my eyes. I can know them better, and to some extent, I care about them. I need that because otherwise, nothing you should concern yourself with. <laughs> Alright, don't worry, unless you suddenly find yourself caught in the middle of a power struggle. The only way I see you becoming tangled up in that kind of mess is if you find yourself too involved with gains. Thanks for the new device, I guess. Still, the thought of some people hiring others to kill somebody is... I can't wrap my head around that, and I don't want to either. The world can be a dark place, still. Uh, say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? Uh, this isn't the first time that a bank has closed like this, but something is off about this. Off how? I don't know, maybe it's the hour, maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. I told women just overthinking it. Yeah? Are you worried about something? A girl that was here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Never mind, do you want something? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. A beer. I hope, I hope Say actually... If Say fucking dies, then one of you a bit upset. I don't, I don't imagine people die in this game. <laughs> but if fucking Say dies, I'm gonna be generally I'm kind of upset. <laughs> Here. Uh, I once read that beer played an important part of humanity's history. Yeah, I'm afraid with that theory. It's an interesting one. Just said that the Bruin was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were uh, ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. I, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Given enough time and enough beer, large societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Uh, last time you came, you mentioned something about going haywire. What did you mean? I'm intrigued. Uh, have you ever felt like your sanity has slipped right by you? Well, I kind of earlier thought she was, dri was driving me nuts, but aside from that, no. Truth be told, neither have I, but I'm afraid of it happening. How so? I don't know. I just have the lingering fear that at some point I won't be myself. I go crazy, I wake up uh, a stranger myself, and I won't care. Uh, it's just an irrational fear that lingers in me, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like the fear of cockroaches for some people. Only instead of fearing a crawling nuisance, you fear lunacy. Something like that. Uh, sometimes I sometimes wonder if uploading my brain would solve all those problems. Well, you're, tech you're not a robot, you're a cyborg, right? Uh, Dorothy asked you. You said you do have skin, so you are more. You are still a human. I don't know. The uh, technology is still a ways off. I've heard a couple experiments regarding that technology, but it seems everything's still too buggy. I'll have to wait until it's safe then. Until then, don't worry too much about those possibilities unless you're tangled enough. Otherwise, uh, you're no better than a hypochondriac. Good point. I don't know what that means. Uh, the way you said it uh, makes it sound less like something you might feel might happen. Oh god. Uh, something you're just afraid could happen at some point. That's pretty much it, yeah. Does that make you saner? I mean... Were you really on your way to become an unhinged maniac? I don't know if you think about it at all. Um, you might have a point there. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. <laughs> uh, same here, always a pleasure. Say hello to Gil for me when he comes back. Please come again. All done. You wanna stay here? Seems the streets are quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nanocomma module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo, isn't that a tad expensive? Yeah, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. Uh, she had been uh, pestering me, what about a gift I wanted for Mega, Cri Mega Christmas? Mega Christmas? She asked me that for four years now, and I've always said that was fine. 
So I took the chance and asked her for it, use up all the past gifts. Oh, it feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what would nano cable module change from your apartment? I got into a basic plan, walls and one piece of cloth, so I picked the my cot coated coated suit too. You have a coated suit? You know what a coated suit is, boss? Percy no I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean futons are coming knowledge, but a cotta suit not too much. What is a cotta suit? <laughs> yeah, when days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably. Oh, is it like that table blanket com thingy? I think I know what they're talking about, I'm not hundred percent sure though. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Uh, let's plan. Oh, let's plan a day to grab a beer. Yeah. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow. Careful out there. Get a nice wall pattern or something. Uh. You have no notifications or reminders. Jill, Jill bought that she, what she wanted. She's pleased with herself. She'll be sure you focus at work to customize your room. Yeah, it's this thing. I was right. Um. What's a nano camo? Something to leaven up this room. Why can't the cat talk? I want to know that. Uh, nano camo. Mascot. Uh, camo Tana is our mascot. She's designed by a veteran character designer from a uh, sick of game, Kieran51. Likes uh, Mushy Battleship, Tactical Fashion, Peach Cake. How do I... Oh, customize. Oh, cost money. I'm fine right now, then. I won't. Let's go to the shop. I guess I'll just... Let's get... Yeah, let's get a Christmas tree. That was pretty expensive, so... Yay, a little question here. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode. Also, the recording session because my throat is fucking on fire right now. Oh, well, is there something else? I didn't check the. This, yeah. Quite nice to beat me up. Uh, Shimon Chen. Uh, Shimon Chen went nuts last night. Where the hell is she now? I don't even recognize the place she's at right now. It doesn't look pretty either. She's getting some rest. I missed. Shimon Chan went to Valhalla, got a bit drunk, and got the hell out of. Out of there, all hypo. Tried to steal snacks from a vending machine, but the thing defended itself with an electric shock. It's freaking nuts. You just don't mess with those things. She fell asleep from the shock. Oh god. Has nothing happened to her. Uh, falls asleep in a shoddy backstreet and glitch city. She'll be fine. Oh boy. Hope she's okay. Uh. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have an episode. My throat is on fire burns. <laughs> Bye.